shit. <laughs> and, we're, <laughs> and we're live, ladies and gentlemen, guys, gals, non-binary pals, welcome to... Yes, yes. Welcome to the Extreme Stream. This week we'll be taking a quick little uh, look-see at some Proline level rifles. We get a lot of questions about... What are you gonna? What's the best rifle to get ever? And I hate that question. Just so everybody knows, if you're like, "What's the best rifle ever?" and I'm just like, "That's not. That's so specific. There's so many things that you could do. Like I could be like, there is no such thing do. as the best rifle. You can be like, what is the 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 most? Where does a rifle excel? Is where you kind of have to take that into consideration, which is a problem that you you run into. People are like, "What's the best?" I'm like, "Well, what's it the best for?" But anyways, we'll kind of go over that. A lot of actually. I didn't think about it, but when these were picked, I didn't think, but they're like, for three, they would excel in three different purposes. A lot better than other rifles. So, gonna do some quick announcements. Um, obviously, October 20th, I know it's kind of overlaying with uh, Autumn Justice, but we will still be running Adult Night, so if you don't know, Adult Night is incredibly popular. Um, 18 plus, 400 FPS limit. Um, real Pyro, so RGBs, Anola Gay Frags, um, the EG67s. I know I'll be here. He'll be here. I'll I be here. might. I, I might not. I might not be here. But well, it's only for cool kids. So oh, adult. Oh, ouch. That's true. That's true. <laughs> only the cool kids show up to adult night. So if you're not going to adult night, you should probably reconsider. Um, but I know I'm kind of Come excited to go to. Night. I'm kind of excited for Spring Offensive person. I don't know. I always say whichever one I went to last, Autumn Justice, regardless. But, um... Are you excited for that there Breaking Bad? That Breaking Bad? I messed up Breaking Bad and Patriot also. Like, I messed <laughs> that up. I'm like, I'm sorry. Like, to wherever you are, Tom, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> it's just it's just a thing. It just happens. And that, it really do be like that sometimes. Just now, it just seems like it's always be like that. So, um... Sometimes it really do be like that. It really do be like that sometimes, It really do you know? be like that. Um... But Adult Night, 400 FPS, real pyro, no required safety kill. Um, real pyro as opposed to fake pyro? Real pyro as fake pyro, right? What would be fake pyro? Roman, no. No. Because fake pyro would be fake fire, basically. Fake fire. So know. someone just takes a piece of paper and, like, draws the, you know, the crappy little fire you used to draw as a, uh, draw as a kid, yeah, which is, like, little spikes. That's fake. Where is you looking for real fire? <laughs> I'm just imagining. Find me at my mixtape. That's some real fire right there, my dudes. Uh, he hasn't even heard the... You haven't even heard the freshest of the game. But regardless. So real pyro. Rather than... Or rather, you know, pyro. Pyro versus pyro not pyro. versus... Is what he's trying to cyclones. say. Cyclones. <laughs> so you can use those. No required safety kill. Uh, the lightning is going to be a lot more uh, different. It's a little more realistic. The lightning? The lighting? The, the lightning? lightning? The lightning is going to be a lot different. It's going to be the lightning will also be Okay, different. okay. The light is going to be amazing, okay? We're going to have such a great time shooting at Are each other. Are you okay, Chuckles? No, I had such a long day. But that's okay. <laughs> that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for. Chat seems pretty dead. Y'all need to start trying My to comment guys, at me. Start but commenting. Um, let us know you're there in the comments below. Just say, hey, I miss you, Chuckles. And I'll say, I probably... Well, see, now no one's going to comment, because no one misses you. Ouch! That is not true. People do miss All right. Maybe at least two people. Okay. Okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> so Adult Night's fun. Come out. I Six to midnight. That. It's $20 for regular admission. 35 with rental. And then from... If you wanted to play all day non-rental, it's 35 bucks. So, it is good you will play for 13 hours of Airsoft. And that will be pretty, uh, that's pretty intense. Obviously, you can take breaks, blah, 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 blah. But, obviously, it's a lot of fun. Um, yeah. I always love playing Adult Night. It's a different kind of crowd that you end up going with. Remember, it's 18 plus only. We will ID you if we feel no like cry you are babies. And no crybabies. We do reserve the right to kick you out if you are being uh, very unreasonable. This is a, I mean, Airsoft in general is a sport of respect. Mutual. Um, that's kind of how the whole sport functions. And if you can't do that, if you can't respect other people, then you're not playing airsoft, as far as I'm concerned. But that's coming up. Um, we're looking towards October 28th. 
Operation Extreme Metro. I keep saying we're gonna have more. I <laughs> keep saying we're gonna have I, more details, but we I got did, so caught up. I did start writing the write up for it, um, so we will have details up on it on our website soon. Yes, um, I'm, ho I'm hoping I can get that up on the website before the end of the weekend. Um, as well we as pre registration. Some details on it. And it's gonna be good. It it's is going to be, be best of stuff. op, comrade. If it you is have greatest any, op ever. We're still trying to work out. I mean, some cool missions. I really still want to do the whole. Well, you have to have a gas mask to go into buildings with fog in them. I feel like that's such a cool thing. I, I think like, we're still going to do that. I think we're going to have to try to work something other than fog because the fog is just going to end up saturating the whole field. True. So we might have to do something different um, to mark off like no-go zones sort of thing, like uh, like radiated zones that you need gas masks for. But that's that's something we're going to have to try to figure out because we, we won't be able to use fog. It, the whole field is just going to get too uh, fog. You're right, you're right. It'll um, be everywhere. But we are going to be doing a bunch uh, of different stuff. We're going to be trying some new things, uh, some game modes that uh, I'm not going to release any details yet, but some game modes involving, if anyone's familiar with the Metro games, the Dark Ones, ah, uh, which I'm excited for. That's very spooky. That is going to be that. awesome. Uh, and I need to be on the field for that one because I need to be a Dark One because it's going to be funny. It'll be pretty... Uh, it's pretty going to be really. hilarious. And my leg's fucked up. What's wrong with my leg? Anyways, it's very fresh. We're going to be very much chilling. Um, obviously, there's also going to be a costume contest. So whether you come dressed up for the Metro Op, which obviously is preferred, um, your best kind of post-apocalyptic Russian civilian military, whatever you kind of want to do for that. Or if you have some other uh, really cool costume you kind of want to come and share, there will be a costume contest. It's going to um, be an overall costume contest, not an op-based costume contest. Yeah, so. it won't be. we won't be like, oh, you're the best one that looks like you're straight out of the Metro because... I think that uh, our friends uh, Brendan and Ryan would win because Abs they're going. They're, they're, they're probably going to be the only ones going. Better like crazy legit. They're with going it. hard. They're going hard. They're getting like Russian. They're, they're spending stupid money to make those costumes. Yes. <laughs> we'll put it that way. <laughs> yes. So um, there will be a costume contest. There will be a prize for that. Um, maybe possibly more raffle tickets when we have a raffle. I know for the raffle, I believe we already have some uh, Inforce lights Ooh. that we have available. They're the WML X's. No, maybe can not the X's. The X's are the IR. Can I get some raffle tickets? That's not how this works. I, 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 want I don't get paid to break light. the rules. I want an Inforce light! Because they're so cool. You're going to save up for them, dude. If you haven't also picked up Inforce lights, come in and check them out. Really nice Real lights. Steel Company. They're local. They're located in North Kingstown, so that's like a three minute hike for me so super bright too if you get one of the um i forget which exactly which one it is but they have a rifle light that's 800 lumens in case you really want to blind people lots of cool little features on those guys so they do a really good uh bang up job so pretty fuego so metro you're gonna want to be here it's gonna be awesome um stay tuned soon we're gonna figure out what we're gonna have for our december up or christmas hop um it's not gonna be santa versus grinch I'm telling you that now that's tired. <laughs> We've run out. Uh, we, we, I mean, you know, you can only do so many things. It's like Call of Duty, you know. Yeah, but the problem is, is they keep doing it anyway. That's true. We're smarter. We're smarter than Call of Duty. We we know when to quit when we're ahead. Yeah, exactly. It's like let's just keep going to the future. <laughs> Infinite Warfare. Wow. Sidebar: I didn't play Infinite Warfare. I have some sense of dignity. Call of Duty: Civil Warfare. Civil Warfare. That's the worst. <laughs> That'd be the freaking worst. All the engagements would just suck. It's just like 5v5, everyone's just sitting there trying to reload their muskets. And Very aggressively. <laughs> you get... <laughs> what is it, the uh, sleight of hand? You're yeah, you're... Really reloading that. Yeah, thing. your one minute reload turns into like a 45 <laughs> second reload. That'd be horrible. That'd be the worst. <laughs> It'd be like reloading the blunderbuss from, uh, what is it, Infinite Warfare? Yes, I've seen that. I have. Seen, it's fun. It's satisfying getting a kill with that thing, though. I imagine, pretty. So, regardless, wow, got off. Getting topic. a little off topic there. That's okay. I'm not mad. So then, don't get mad. We have get that mad. coming down the pipeline. So definitely look forward to that. We have some cool other things. Hopefully, we're kind of still putting them together, but we're still trying to drum up interest for the possibility of tactical dodgeball. Extreme dodgeball. Um, I saw some other fields, I believe, out in Cali has started to do. We've been toying with it. We've been really trying to mess around with it for the past year or so. We've been testing it a lot with employees to see if it would work or not. So 
Um, now is the time, so we're going to try to hopefully get that started. Uh, we're going to try to get that launched relatively soon, I'm we're, really hoping. The sooner the better. The sooner um, we can get it out is going to be it, the best. It does seem to have drummed up a lot of interest with a few of you. Um, we have a lot of the, 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 de the a lot of the major details worked out. It's a lot of the minor stuff that we're just trying to figure. That's what we're trying to finish off. Once we can get the minor details finished off, then we're going to be launching it. The sooner the better, because I'm I'm pretty excited for that. That sounds pretty cool. That'll be taking place mostly on Tuesday and Thursday nights. Um, it'll be different age groups, right? You have uh, we'll be looking at like Thursdays going to be like a college well night, so possibly so basically uh, the original idea was to do one of the days would be a league night where you could actually have teams and you basically uh there's a prize at the, at the end of the league the, uh, it's going to be like a for a few weeks and there'll be a prize at the end of the, at the end of the league for the team that does the best during those few weeks and then the other day is going to basically for the most part be almost like open dodgeball almost like open airsoft gaming uh during the uh, during the weekends it'll be open dodgeball where you come in, you set up open teams, it's like a pickup game, and you just go out there and you play dodgeball sort of thing. Um, but uh, th that's what we're trying to work out is uh, the team part of it. We need to try to find a lot of people that actually have teams or want to set up teams for uh, the league. Uh, but we are going to be doing, uh, like he was uh, kind of like a college thing where it's just open dodgeball gaming. Anyone can come on down, pay your admission, and play dodgeball. It'll be fun. So... That's coming down the pipeline. Look forward to that. Going to be a good time. Um, so, Nerf Night also. Nerf Nights are going to start November 7th. Um, if you didn't know, if you are part of the younger generation, if you don't have a child, or if you're old enough to play, if you're under the age of 13, um, you're able to come play. Nerf Night, really good, really inexpensive way to kill two and a half hours. Kind of get over that midweek hump. Um... 5 o'clock to 7.30, it's $10, um, plus 5 if you want to do dinner, um, and that's pretty cool. The more kids you bring, obviously, um, you get more of a little bit of a, you get a more of a discount, so say you came with 5 people, first kid's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, so that's how much you would pay, so you wouldn't pay $10 for each, I was just making, I couldn't, I had to make sure, I, I had to be consistent with 5, I can't count. So, um, but Nerf Night's a lot of fun. It's open Nerf. We provide guns, we provide darts, we provide eye protection. So it's cool for a lot of the younger kids. Or if you, you know, obviously have kids, you can bring them here. Kind of just take it off your back. I mean, we've seen upwards of it being popular some days. Like we've seen at its peak, we saw like 140 players yeah, or so. Which was pretty crazy. I was there for that. Nights. I was, that was one of the craziest nights ever when we were just like nonstop. So... Did you get it? No. Oh, you suck. I did it in class the other day. I was just saw it. It buzz bothered my teacher that he came over and I was like, Fwah! <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> um, so Nerf Knight's coming down the pipeline. Make sure you stay tuned for that. If not, we always have, uh, like you said, we have private parties that we offer. Um, Nerf parties. We have airsoft parties. Anything you kind of want to do. Um, we do offer a lot more than just like whatever. So we're definitely trying to do a lot more experimentation. We're trying new things. If any, obviously, if any of you have any suggestions ever, we have a suggestion box on the staging area. We have staff. We have our Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Any suggestions you feel like you might want to make, anything you want to kind of see happen around here, just comment it. Write us a letter. Just us make know. sure when you are putting something in the suggestion box, stop putting down that I am cute. I already know. Thank you. We don't... <laughs> <laughs> that, that was going on for a little while. There were people that were actually putting in there. It was Tom. It was me. It was Tom. <laughs> All right. Now. I need to make myself feel better. My beard looks really red, just so you all know. <laughs> like, I look like I don't have... See this? See this? It's just like... Okay. All right. <laughs> now we're done. Now let's talk about some really nice Proline rifles. So now we have three different options. Proline rifles. Three different manufacturers. Um, and they all offer something that's really great, um, for a, it's most part for what you're paying for, a killer price point. I'm not gonna lie. Some of these guys are pretty, uh, fire. So, right here we of course have the Elite Force Avalon. This is the caliber rifle, so it is the key mod. 
This is the carbine, so it is the uh, longer than that CQC, so you got that really nice length. It's not too impractical for indoors, but it'll do you a little bit better it's, outdoors. It's at that perfect length. It's, it's probably about the maximum length to be real comfortable when running indoor. Um, I wouldn't really get anything much longer than this uh, when you're trying to hey. run something like this. Um, but I love the bronze color on these guys. We obviously have, uh, they obviously have them in black as well. Uh, these are the Gen 1s. Uh, they are going to be, actually, uh, the, the Gen 2s aren't released yet. I'm not even sure. I think, I think they are, if they haven't already been released, then they're close. They're, so they're, they're, they're basically right there. Um, so they, those improve. Mostly it's uh, electronic components. Um, they upgrade. It, has a, it gets a fuse. Uh, MOSFET. It has better connect. It has like more solid connection. Like it, it, it. it, it you it, didn't it, think it, you could it, improve upon the it, rifle, and it improves upon the rifle. So that's that's kind of the Avalon thing. So but it's, as as an overall, usually if someone does end up asking you what the best rifle is or the best gun is, like Chuckles was saying earlier, that's not really a fair title to put on anything. But if I had to give it an overall. Avalon's probably the first one I would usually point to somebody. Avalon's got um, especially when the Gen well, when we do eventually get Gen Two is that's going to be the first thing that I end up showing to somebody because it's your standard M4 platform. There's nothing crazy fancy that you need to do as far as any extra mags or any uh, finding new mag pouches for it or manipulations. All your standard M4 AR15 style manipulation. So going from basically almost any platform out there, M4 is the most common platform for airsoft. So if you want to stick with something that's common, boom, yeah. there you go. And the Avalons are good. They have a lot of the hood. They have tight bore, rotary style hop up, MOSFET, quick change spring. Not like true quick change spring, but Takes a quick little change bit spring. Like you take your box out, swap it out, just like a Crytac. Um, but overall, the external quality as well that you're paying for for the approximate three hundred seventy dollar price point for this rifle, and then the CQB ones are obviously a little bit. Uh, less expensive but the quality of rifle is you are, superb for you what are you're getting what you for. pay for with these guys um, no doubt if i wasn't gonna buy an evo it was gonna be this guy and another good thing chris oh my god chris my boy chris hang yeah he hasn't been here in forever i miss you man he was one of my favorites you're my only boy. saying that because he's here no for real <laughs> no i love having chris around one boy is humble he knows how to chill so the Avalon's are a really great option. Um, if you're looking for a pro-level rifle, if you're not looking to spend 500 bucks, this is probably some of the best bang for your buck um, as an overall thing, indoors, outdoors, um, for upgradability, versatility. That's why you have the M4. That's what that... Oh, that's good for. Um, now let's go back... Oh, homie. I <laughs> mean... Now, this guy is actually relatively new. It hasn't... Uh, the G&G... &G, MBR 308 SR, the TR 16. This is the 308, obviously, G and G. Um, these guys are awesome, fully ambidextrous. Um, the selector's ambi. Uh, bolt release is also ambi on both sides. Magazine release is ambi. It's a little bit larger on the right side, which I kind of like. Kind of have to go for a reach. No, it normal. It'll do that. Watch. Yeah, I no, know. No, no. You're about to just slap it in. Yeah, I know. You're about to slap it in without putting the follower back oh, in. Shit. You gotta put the but follower yeah, back in. Forgot. So these guys are super awesome. They have a lot of features, functionality. Like um, the extended follower that he was trying to break. Type or barrel. Uh, I believe that this is honestly just a... I don't want to say it's a standard V2 gearbox. I, it's a standard version 2 gearbox, essentially. But the G2 has a lot of upgrades in it. Um, it has the famous the G&G &G MOSFET. is actually the G2, so... Um, the size on it, it's smaller, but it's more efficient. You still get that three-round burst, actually. Yeah, no, this is... Actually, oh, I forgot, this has a... Yeah, this actually has three-round burst straight out the gate. Um, you have safe semi, and it's a 45 degree, which is pretty cool for that. Um, but obviously it has proprietary mags, but has a Type 4 rotary-style hop-up. Um, the, the G2 gearbox on the inside is pretty... Pretty freaking sweet. It's actually reinforced as well. You can't see it very well, but at the front end, there's you can see where it's reinforced, um, which is super cool. Like Crytac did it, 
and Crytek was really like it was pretty innovative. And I'm not sure why more people, more companies haven't figured to do that because if they just reinforce the front because end, because it makes box, too much sense. Like G and G hopped on the train. Thank God. I think if VFC did that, I mean, I have never heard of a VFC gearbox cracking the gearbox shells like and people do pretty high stress builds with those guys but short of that i mean if you're looking for a true dedicated dmr this guy is gonna be great it's a really decent length it's not too overkill um but like i said the part of the functionality you guys that's fully ambi um but it's 308 you have the they have high caps they have the low caps so with the mid cap mag that it comes with it does have i don't know if you can i don't know if you can see the extended follower that i'm flicking nobody saw that <laughs> i don't know if you can see the extended follower i'm flicking but this will actually feed all the bbs in your mag so you're not getting those two or three stragglers every time you go to do a mag change and doesn't it also cut it does, off it when does you, have uh, the cut off so it has the uh, so when you fire the last round in the magazine it'll actually cut off so you don't dry fire yeah. the so you'll need to essentially, uh, you can see the switch on the back of it. Um, it'll trip that just like it would on a. So it doesn't happen again. It's just like it happens on a TM recoil shock, ERG when you use a specific mags. It has that mechanical stop, so it'll stop until you pop in a fresh mag, hit the bolt release, and then you're back in. You can play, shoot. So you get that really cool realism, which is kind of cool with the DMR. Um, you're not really going to be up front in the action for the most part. Like you'll in, in the context of airsoft, you might be a little more aggressive, you know, with a DMR, but you're going to be limited. You won't really have to run into any issues where you're like, "Oh no, I need to reload right now." So you usually running as a DMR, you're not going to be nearly as aggressive as if you were your standard rifleman. And these guys, the the price point on the GNGs, they run at about four four ten four fifteen, um, so they are a little bit pricier. But this is you know. Aluminum body, aluminum rail, it's reinforced, it's stylized uh, receiver, it has sling mounts, it has the really nice G&G stock. This guy comes pre-wired to Dean's, um, which is also what every airsoft dealer should do, because it's a pain, because I have so many Dean's batteries. Like, I went to, like, all my 9.6s obviously were Dean's, but all my 7.4s, everything was Dean's, and it just made sense. Um, so that's also an upgrade you should make. Dean's all your batteries. And next... So, we can't have any video talking about any guns while Chuckles is here if we didn't have the Scorpion Evo. Listen, it's just the context of the video. So far, every video that we've had talking about guns, we have mentioned the Scorpion Evo. Hello, David. We have literally mentioned the Scorpion Evo in every single video that we've It's hard not guns. to. Well, haven't we always mentioned the Avalon? True. All right. Yeah. yeah. You got yeah. me there. You got me there. That's what I thought. Um, but... We won't go, I won't, I won't do too much. We actually have a review coming out for this guy this week. Um, so make sure you stay tuned here. Um, I might make a cameo the... in it. Maybe. <laughs> so this guy has a lot of really cool, a million different features. It has a, you know, it has a MOSFET. Hi, David. It's not just any basic MOSFET. This is a high-end MOSFET right at the gate. You plug in your battery just like, you know, the ASCU. It'll be like, beep, you're good. Or beep, beep, your battery's dead. Um, low voltage cutoff, MOSFET, true quick change spring where all you have to do is pop that down, pop off the stock, back right there, safe semi 300 burst, fully ambidextrous, adjustable hop up. Um, like I said, I've seen, uh, what's his, uh, I've seen a uh, Canadian uh, house gamers. He, uh, Dayton, actually used an Evo with point fours, just hopped it. Jesus. And it was just sniping kids with this thing. Uh, stock, they shoot about not only 390, 400, but they have the quick change spring, so that's no problem. 75 round mid caps, really nice, high quality. Um, they do make high caps for, but the high caps look really weird. They're thick. They're like really fat. Yeah, they're like, they come down and then they just flare out a lot. So they're big, they're decent to grab onto, but I personally would run them. I'm just, I need to get a clamp. But they have so many different accessories to make the Evo in general, like. They have the standard thread adapter. Some dude that I know 3D prints the K front end, so like if it was like a compact. Um, they have a buffer tube adapter for the stock. They have a million and one different things. These Evos buffer are soft. Adapter. Oh my god, no. Ugh. 
Yeah, dude. Not put, it's pretty uh, hot. It's hot. No, I've seen a few. no, 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 no. Do not put a buffer tube adapter on that thing. There are just some guns that you should not. AKs are fine with a buffer tube adapter. That is not a gun you should put a buffer tube adapter on. G36s are another gun you should not put a buffer tube adapter on. Oh my gosh. G36s. Okay, G36s that are like. I can't. I personally don't approve of people that buy G36s. Like. And they have the M4 Magwell, and they have the M4 stock. Just buy an M4. The rail. But yeah, just buy, buy an, an M4. M4. Yeah, that's but, literally what you, you know, just did. Obviously, if that's your your thing, and so you want zone, that to but. be like, you can do that. Like, I don't, I don't. Ninety percent of airsoft is what you think looks cool. Yeah, so, that's to true. each his own. You can do whatever you want. So, anyways, the Evo is amazing for that like four hundred dollar price point. You're getting an amazing. I need deal. to get the carbine. You do. I, I personally, like I said, well, I'm not doing a review on this. We're doing a review on the carbine. My bad. Not like it, it's essentially the same internally. The only difference is length of the rifle. Um, so, really, really great rifle. These guys do an amazing job. I've been playing with it for the past few weekends, and I have nothing to say but good things. Obviously, um, otherwise, otherwise I wouldn't own it anymore. <laughs> I wouldn't own it anymore. I don't keep guns around that I don't think are high quality. Um, like I kept my Crytek running for like a year and a half or more. Um, like, I cranked on, I ripped on that thing. It was an OG Gen 1, like, Crytac. And all they did ever was replace the O-rings and buckings. Because, it, like, clean cut the lips off the bucking. But, so, you really have a lot of options. There are obviously more rifles that you kind of run into. Um, ICS, they do some really high-end uh, rifles, like the CXPs and stuff. Uh, the build quality is nice. They have the split gearbox, so you don't even have to take the gearbox out of the gun. You pop off the upper. Take off, upper. Puff, puff, puff off the upper. Puffer. You got your puff the off the up. upper. You pull off the upper, and you just pull off the upper, and then you right there you can access it. So people will actually do. You can actually buy multiples. So one's like built for 120 FPS or with 120, 120 Jesus. with a 120 spring, with a 110, with a one. You know, 120 whatever. FPS. What so, is this, Crossman? Yeah, dude. That's what it's about. So you have a lot of that. I see. Well, that's why you go to for for upper. Upper, You got it with your upper. Um, also, as well, any of the elite force offerings that they kind of have, um, like the Cetars especially, I think are a great bang for your buck. They're not um, much past the. Uh, I'm not usually a fan of bullpup style rifles, but every time I get my hands on one of the Cetars, I kind of start falling in love with it to be honest with you <laughs> the it, it really actually cool. feels pretty nice they they did not cut any especially when it comes to the external build quality it just feels like it's a really solid gun yeah and internally the thing is just also decked out you know you have the monster it shoots 20 rounds a second which rips um but any of the elite force rifles the pro line rifles are really good bang for your buck um they like your headband whoever Ooh. it is out the, thank you. I don't know who it is, but thank you. He thanks. I, I just started wearing this today. It's oddly very comfortable. It. it I'm surprised at how comfortable. We this did is. it for a photo. We did. We had a little photo op today. Me and Chuckles had a moment. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so those are some of the kind of nicest offerings you kind of get. Um, my purse. I mean. I'm trying to think of anything that's really, like... Well, if you're looking for something other than, like, your standard M4, the SIGs that you actually uh, the, that you posted uh, the pics of... Yeah, The ICS buddy. SIGs are actually really nice. The ICS SIGs, not only, you know, they have that full aluminum, but overall, the ICS SIGs have a really uh, high-quality internal build. I've never heard anybody complain about the SIGs. They're, V3, they're, they're so very they're underrated. I, I think so, too. Not enough people actually like them for what they should be. Um, they should have a much bigger following than what they actually do. So the SIGs are nice. They're at that sitting at that two fifty three hundred plus dollar price point. So you really push in a lot of the. Um, I mean, back in the day, you used to have to pay five hundred five hundred dollars for a rifle that like just worked. Um, I'll, albeit it, you could have paid you know that much for like a classic army or TM, and they would run you forever. Like we have a classic army in here rifle that's from like twenty. 20, 2000, maybe it was 2010, 2009, but kid just ran house through the thing. Um, 
We had one that we just repaired, and I think it was just like the cutoff lever or something, um, or just needed a spring swap. But other than that, a lot of the classic army OG stuff was good. Um, but there's so many, so many solid options. Like G and G, they have their entire pro line of the GC series rifles. Um, oh, the GK five C. The GK five C. That doesn't count. But the GK five Cs are still nice. But if you want something other than an M four, um, you know, you have the Tavor, you have the uh, ARXs, you have G36s. Um, FAMAS, you have the EVO, which isn't, you know, I'd say I'd rank that more as an intermediate rifle, but as yeah, far as I FAMAS's really go, as, pro line. as far as FAMAS's go, like, that's a pretty still, that's still a really solid option. Um, and then of course LCT rifles as well. They I'd do be really lying solid if I said though. I didn't want to get a FAMAS. Really? I kind of want a FAMAS, to be honest with you. I want the uh, LCT. I want the SR3. That's what I want. Oh, that's yes. the only reason that I so work here. It's for the SR3. <laughs> just, just the SR3. That's it. Actually, I wouldn't mind the AS Val. <clears throat> the Val looks nice. The Val's There's a lot of cool, cool rifle. There's a lot of really great options. We need. We need to get another VSS in here, just so I can ask you guys if you have any nine mil. We need the SLR. SLR is not that great. It's the FAO. There, I said it's it. literally the FAO. I know. What do you mean the SLR is not great? Relax. It's okay. It's okay. Relax. It's okay. You just don't know how to use it. It's okay. It's more than okay. I was doming people with it the L1 other day. L1A1s are okay. The Ares does the L1A1 though with the wood kit though. And that's very clean. Um, if any of y'all have any questions or anything, toss them down in the comments. We'll answer don't them. Don't be shy. I don't really have... How did we even start? Like 7.45-ish? I can't tell time. <laughs> I can't tell time. Well, because we had issues with the speakers, remember? Uh, but yes. But for why? So, uh, really nice. There's a lot of, there's so many, but there's so many options too, like... I love it. Airsoft has grown so much and continues to grow. Like, it's crazy. The amount of stuff you can get. The amount... And like we... When we talked about the competition level rifles, like... What you're paying for, for like... Uh, sub $200, you're getting some crazy deals that used to not even be available. Like, the innovation... And I think what the... What you see a lot of the industry moving towards right now is trying to get on board with trying to offer the best competition level rifle with nice upgrade parts straight out the gate. Like you have Lancer Tactical coming out with their G2, so they were like MOSFET. They have the trigger switch. They have all these upgraded internals that they're like trying to like crank I think they do sixteen to one gears or something. Like they're trying to like and those are and those are really very, great very price. inexpensive. Yeah, um, like you're not spending more than probably like if if you want to spend below two hundred dollars and still get yourself an actually pretty darn good sub two hundred dollar gun, those those new Lancer tacks are actually not bad at all. I the only thing I don't like about them is the materials kind of feel weird to me for uh, external builds. Um, obviously, other than the um, what's that? Uh, the one on the top. The Warlord? The Warlord. The Warlord, Warlord feels a, nice, well, but the I, other, the the other Warlord, models kind of feel a little The Warlord's nice because they have... Do we have SEMA M4s? I don't think so. Uh, no. No. We have SEMA M14s, which obviously is the same thing. <laughs> Just buy M14s. <laughs> Everybody buy M14s. Actually, the, the, those M14s are actually really nice. I actually had one for a little bit. And they ran... They actually run pretty nice. All right, SEMA M4. Do we... Uh... I have some lot. We have some. They're mostly lawn X. So no, no SEMA. Sadly, just some nice beater. SEMA AKs, legendary. JG, if you want a good beater rifle, but if you want high quality, I, I'm gonna actually go. Oh wow, that hurts. While we wait for Chuckles to get back. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> it means you're probably gonna take forever. Do you want me? Because you're waddling over there. Dude. Ah, oh, the SR3. Oof. Ah, oh, he's grabbing one of the sexiest guns on the wall. One of the sexiest. Not the sexiest. Kind of one that I, I figured would be cool to bring into the store because it's something I've 
<laughs> it seems to happen. Don't ever do the ordering. Don't ever order anything. <laughs> I was like, ooh, man, that GK5C looks really good right now. Um, man, this crossman looks cool. This crossman, you mean me. You do, boo boo. But <laughs> LCT, they do all the, you know, they do the whole stamp steel thing. Internal quality. Um, right now, since ENL has stopped doing anything, um, some of the highest quality you're going to get in, in any case is LCT. Um, nobody else really does any high end stuff that isn't like a GHK gas blowback. No, that's, yeah, I did it right. Okay. Um, <laughs> I kind of want to get me a GHK GBB. Ugh. Snap! Changing the selector is crazy. But yeah, you can really stiff. feel the, the quality on the body. And you can just hear everything. Ooh, I want three of these. No, you can't have that because you just bought the Scorpion. You can't stop me. Yes, I can. No, you can't. You're grounded. You're not my real dad. <laughs> but these guys are really... the high. Shut up, Chad. You're more... not even my real dad. <laughs> Chad. <laughs> So, ah, LCT, SR3, this guy's a baller, straight up. The AS valve looks just like it, except has a really massive suppressor on the front. That's true, you got a massive dong on the front end. Sorry, is that inappropriate? Where do we draw the line in this building? Oh, that's where you draw the line. Dude, it's I say that at school all the time. <laughs> We're like, just kind of going with it, and then I say something, and then they're just like... Oh, so that's where like, you draw Whoa, the line. They're like, whoa, wait, hey, calm down. So and that's I'm what like, your limit is, huh? This is this is where it ends. <laughs> this is where I die. This is the way the world ends. Hey, Chuckles. Who's, who are you, TB Ghosts? Bash. I'm, but I'm saying, hey! Which, uh, me, hey. And my, me and my friend... Brandon have proceeded to start doing at school is we see somebody we know and we say, hey look it. so I would, like you for instance I'd be like, hey look it's Tom and then we both are like hey, hey! <laughs> I already hate my toe we stopped <laughs> we, we stopped doing that a bit last year <laughs> when tension started to rise high when people started to have a lot of uh, feelings <laughs> as the semester goes on everybody kind of gets on edge even your boy out here I'm just trying to trying to live my life. This this bandana. I'm the dude that came idea. in with the hater with the scope and the foregrip. It really do be like that, you know. Like, I want to buy a hater and I want to paint it pink, so that I can be like, "Ha! You got shot by a pink hater." Tool. Do it. Hater's gonna hate. I just want to get a hater and just put that on the side. Hater's gonna hate. Do it. Just hashtag hater's gonna hate. Hashtag hater's gonna hate. See, sometimes you really just have to put a scope on and a foregrip. You need a laser down, though. You need to put a bipod on it, though. Ugh. Grip pod. Grip pod. Grip pod. The future of you accessories need a grip pod. in Airsoft is a grip. If you don't have a grip pod, it's 20. Are you even? Are you even living it's if you don't have a grip pod? 2018, baby. Or 2011, did I mean? Also, Masadas <laughs> are cool. And everybody has lasers now. I was just about to say, did you know you could put a oh, laser on your gun? I didn't even know. Barely fit. Yeah, stuff like that. You can only cram so much on that rail. Did you know that you could put a laser on your gun? We need to start cool trends again. Everybody buy Masa... Well, Dude, did you know if you put a flashlight on your airsoft gun, you can actually see your BBs for a little bit? That shit's rad. Dude, you should try it. You should try it. You should try it. What used to be super... I'm trying to think of trends, <laughs> like things that were trendy in airsoft. If there are any trends that you know that were dated, that are now dated, that were hip in the back of the day, let us know. It used to be all about Classic Army. Classic Army used to be like, everyone's like... Yeah, my classic army rifle. I want to. Oh gosh, this this wasn't really a trend, but I remember when D Boys was doing a lot of rifles. My first gun was actually a D Boys, D Boys M4. I never owned any D Boys products. It was actually it was not bad. It it functioned pretty darn well. It was it was an entry level gun. It was only like one hundred and forty dollars, but it was full this metal. Does KWA seem ever so slightly less relevant than it used to be? <laughs> Well, that might just be me. Oh, but, man. this is actually a used gun we currently have on the wall. I, I, don't do this to me. I want it so bad. Because I could... I would. I want it so bad. Don't do this to me. That is what she said. <laughs> KWA Magpul. The OG. PRG. 
This is a rifle that I ran here. I bought mine used from here, like 200 bucks. And this thing was so good. I put, I had to put at least, you know, over 50,000 rounds to the thing. Like, it was a workhorse. The KWA, the 2GX gearboxes are so solid. But, similar to the Evo, it has the proprietary, now these mags, these M4 mags only work with ERGs. And they're original P mags, so they don't. I don't know if they. I don't think they make those anymore. I don't think so. But they are. They also, in quite a few years, haven't made the Magpul, like it's an officially licensed Magpul PTS. And this guy, I had the Scout version, so I had the longer barrel. And this was a few years back, and it was discontinued then. So it's been a really long time that these rifles have been discontinued. But they have a quick change spring, so you just unscrew the buffer tube, take that off. Screws right back there. Every shot, it actually has like a decent bit of recoil. And it's the, so actually, good. Actually, specifically with that guy right there, for being as relatively old as they are, that thing is in amazing condition. Yeah, like externally, there's no serious scuffs except on the uh, other side of the rifle. Um, I mean, this guy is a beast. Um, I want it so bad. And it comes with two other of the P Mag, so. They don't make them, they're proprietary, so come pick this guy up, because I ran one of these for years. and Well, not years. Definitely like a year, year and a half. Somebody else buy it, so I don't. Because I can't. And it has a kill flash on it. On the T1-style optic. You have the amplifier. It's actually Novesky. Uh, the KX3s, which is nice. It's just all around beauty and grace. And, all you and it'll still use standard M4 mags, you just won't get that stop feature. So when it stops, you pop in your fresh bag. Hit your bolt release, and then you're back in the action. Um, so, oh my god, I want it. <laughs> I either want to grab that or I want to grab the SR7. SR7's pretty good. The KWAs are always nice. Haven't seen KWA in these parts in a while. <laughs> if you want to see KWA guns back in the store, let us know. So we do stuff. All right, we should probably start wrapping up. Okay, yeah, it's getting to that time. It's getting that time of day, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be cleaning up. By that I mean. Oh, I missed Swag gonna go IQ. Home. I need to get. You need to. You missed what? I missed Swag IQ. It's like um, a trivia game, a trivia app where uh, every it's like every eight p.m. It's live trivia, and everyone can watch it, and they answer questions to try to win money. Kind of like that, uh, whatever that thing that James was doing a few months back. It's a live it's a live trivia show that you go on to. Not you that you go on to, but you get the app. You answer trivia questions and if you get all ten of them right, you oh, win you the win prize. Money. Yeah, but it's, but it's, it's shared it's, with it's others. It's shared with everybody who made it to the end of that. Right. All right. The the way that this works differently though is with being an app, you make an account on it and all your prize money gets basically gets pooled together. Yes. Alright. Announcements. Reminders. Um twentieth of this month. I don't like 400 FPS, pyro allowed, no safety kill requirement, prone, I guess technically some sort of an appeal, uh, don't die, um, but why, why 18 plus, 6 prone? a minute, I don't know. Like, what? what is the point of going pro in CQB like this? Um, because I'm a sniper, biash. Um, so, <laughs> make sure you definitely want to check that out, it's going to be great. Uh, if you're not going to uh, Autumn Justice Spring Offensive, <laughs> definitely got to give it a look. Um, it's a lot of fun. He's talking about the Swag IQ app. <laughs> That's my girl right there. I'm going to buy one of her shirts. Airsoft Cult. Go check them out on Instagram. Airsoft Cult. That's my girl. She's out there. Oh, see? That's why I didn't get the updates. Because it's not the other thing. <laughs> I didn't have it playing. Because I left the app. <laughs> I checked the Snapchat. It looked very nice. That's my girl. So go give her a shout out. She has a gold, like, shirt. It's got, like, the champion C. And it says, call your hits. Ooh. It's pretty funny. Like, it's pretty good. Like, that's some solid content. So... I'll probably have to pick one up and have one of those. That's my girl right there. Striving for airsoft clothing for airsoft players. Because um, obviously so much of what we have and kind of what we take is either like paintball or real world or whatever, you know? So it's not like dedicated for like stuff for, for people like us that just shoot BBs all the time. So shout out to her. Shout out to the plug. Um... <laughs> Not at all. But you know. Um, so, Adult Night, obviously, is going to be the 20th for those that are not going to go anywhere else. 
Um, 28th, Operation, it's going to be Extreme Metro. Metro 2033 theme, post-apocalyptic. I'm super excited. There's going to be some really cool missions, new stuff we're going to try out, multi-faceted layer missions, so kind of think circa, uh, who does it good? Battlefield? Battlefield, you could you'll do like the the multiple missions. Like you complete one mission, I was like, all right, good. Oh yeah, the operations uh, or whatever. The operations. Yes. So you go do that. Um, so other cool things: costume contests for prizes. Uh, Enforce lights are gonna be raffled off. So that's like, that's probably not even gonna lie. That's probably over. That's three hundred, three hundred fifty dollars in just lights. So that's gonna be really nice, really crazy, high end out there. You're gonna be DM me the size that it's yours. Yeah! <laughs> I'm in. Alright. Um, <laughs> so, uh, that's going to be super cool. So, you're going to want to be here for Metro. We're going to have fun. It's going to be cool. It will Costume be great contest. Off. It will be super awesome. We're going to be putting it out for you guys. Um, remember, Nerf Nights are going to be starting November 7th. So, we look forward to that. Uh, bring your kids. Uh, they're going to have fun. You can dump them here. Or you can take them along, you can stay here, hang out, a lot of their parents will do either or. It doesn't really matter to us. We have referees that are facilitating Nerf Gaming. Um, self-equipped, not self-equipped, we have equipment for all players of all availability of kit. Um, something we're, we're trying to look into doing some cool... That's not a sentence. So we're trying to, <laughs> what we're striving for right now, we're kind of okay. trying to do some cool new stuff uh, in the store. So what we're looking at is probably doing like a weekly, uh, a deal of the week. So a specific product we're going to have on sale for the entire week. So we're going to try to probably look at it next week or so. But this week, uh, don't look forward to <laughs> don't look forward to that. We're still working out so details. This, this week, we're not doing any sort of specific spotlight sale. But next week, we're going to start doing it. Uh, we'll probably mention maybe during one of the podcasts or like on Facebook. Yeah, we'll what mention the it here. Is. We won't mention it on um, Facebook or anything. So you have yeah. to be here um, to figure but out. But we won't what mention that is. specifically what exactly the sale is. For details on what exactly the sale would be, you'd have to come on down to the store for that. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. So we won't do anything about the deals. We won't talk about that. Because some of them, I guarantee you, are going to be so good you can't pass up on them. So be here. Come down during the week. We're open Tuesday to Sunday. Come check it out. Um, so that's going to be something new that we're going to be introducing. Um, but other than that, I can't really think of... Can I know what this <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Isaiah, but you have to drive all the way up here to see it. That's true. If you drove all the way here, Isaiah, we'll tell you what the sale is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It was nice talking to Isaiah the other night we, when we all played. We, I don't know if you were there when we played Xbox. I was on, like, one night, and Isaiah, like, jumped in the party. I, I, know, like, I know that was, uh, uh, it was like a week or two ago something maybe like that. it was i have no track of time yeah i pretty played, much um, go by like didn't we play modern warfare i think we played modern yeah we all played modern warfare yeah. together i'm out playing pokemon go <laughs> isaiah's on that next level <laughs> shit He's actually not, level. not gonna lie i just re-downloaded pokemon see go now yesterday. everybody's getting back into pokemon go i need I something to, to do when i used I'm to board. i'm you still only just... like level 14 but <laughs> I just never get it. It was like, I mean, I'd go, I'd just catch everything, and I'm like, this isn't really too crazy. Well, I got rid of it because they didn't have um, any like, of the other ones. They literally just had the first. Well, not just that. Like, I didn't care about the first generation. It was just that you couldn't do anything with other trainers, and there was no ba actual battling. There was no trading or anything like that. Yeah. And then now that they finally have all that stuff in there, I decided to get it again. Pretty fuckissimo. Now that we're completely on topic. <laughs> Uh, it's pretty serious. Is it like a big deal out there? That's pretty. That's it's, pretty. Funny. It's like dead. Up I here. guess when you live out in the middle of freaking nowhere and they have nothing better to do. <laughs> that's like when I went to a party last last week, the week before. I'm not gonna say who it was for. But uh, there is a photo of me that I have playing uh, Stump, which I didn't know was a thing. Uh, so it's where you just put a bunch of. <laughs> True. <laughs> so what you do is 
Everybody gets a nail, <laughs> and a, you have a stump. Everybody puts a nail, you lightly tap into the stump. And you're, what you have to do is you have to put it in the air, flip it, and catch it. However you catch it is how you have to hit it. So you catch it like, if you caught it like here, you have to be like that. If you caught it here, here, backwards, upside down. And then you have to hit other people's nails into the stump. And when their nail is completely in the stump, they're out. What? And I was like, this is the most... I was like, how bored are you that your form of entertainment, <laughs> at some point in time, like, somebody was like, well, got nothing better to do. Guess I'll just hit these nails into this stump, <laughs> competitively. I find that accent very offensive. Why? I don't You're know. You're not from the South. No. I'm offended for them. Damn, dog. You can't be out here doing that. This is crazy. All right, so I've said all I need to say. I think we're all set. Um, thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Stay tuned this week. We're going to have videos. Hopefully, we're going to be cranking out some more uh, content, lots more funny stuff. But definitely, there are a lot of new guns in here, so we need to start doing a lot more uh, looks, reviews. We're going to be talking. There's going to be some more theories coming down the line. Um, we have so many big plans, so stay tuned. Make sure you guys come to the op, too. Pre-reg will come be to the soon. Op. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, subscribe to us here on YouTube if you haven't already. There's a nice little thing where it's right there near Tom, way down there, and next to our name. And it says if you're subscribe. on mobile. We're at 930 subscribers. Get us to 1,000. We might, we might do something to celebrate 1,000 subscribers. Ooh. So if you get us to 1,000, then it'll be great. It'll be amazing. Wow. So, other than that, Thanks, everybody, so much. Y'all have been beautiful people. And hope y'all have a great night. We'll see you this weekend. If not, we'll see you next weekend. Or whenever you come here. All right. Thank you guys so much. It's been your boy Chuckles. Tom. And good night. I really do be like that. <laughs> and <laughs> have a nice day, you guys. We'll see you this weekend. And gals. <laughs> and everybody else that, that is just kind of existing out there. Uh, you know, scourge of the earth, whatever the whatever. Go check us out. <laughs> Bye. See you guys. Oh, there's no TV. Oh God. <laughs>